day five cycling across the USA from Miami to LA to raise money for the fantastic cause Get Kids Going. Today we are riding well, that's good. I'm surprised I got the day right, to be honest. Today we're riding from Daytona Beach to Palatka. Disappointing, we didn't see any cheerleaders here. Whoa. This is where the Netflix thing is, isn't it? And they will jump in the sea. So I've got some light yellow, oh. some watermelon red flavor. Rapid. Mm. The, the lovely place that we were staying in yesterday, they were offering a continental breakfast. And uh, a continental breakfast in Daytona Beach is a tray of Twinkies of various flavors. An exciting day today. This is the first day we're actually cycling across because we've been going up the coast for the last few days. So the trip officially starts now. Yeah, that first 300 miles was meaningless. <sighs> <laughs> so hydrated. Gatorade, please sponsor us. Should we have done that thing where you go to the sea and you dip your wheel in? No, I can't be asked. Yeah, we've come too far. We've come too far. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Jurassic Park. Look at it. This is very cool. We're probably 20k in from Daytona Beach. We've gone through all this beautiful coast, lovely houses again, and now we're on a road. I think this place is called Volusia, and we are, well, you can see we're in nature. Legs feeling good, arms feeling good. He gave us a thumbs up. How's your boo boo on your arm? We might have to amputate. Tu cadera. Water is really close to us here, Justin. How many days until there's no more alligators? One day, okay. Ah, uh, cool, rattlesnakes next, yeah. We've had quite a few comments underneath the videos of you guys emailing Gatorade and tweeting Gatorade trying to get us sponsored. Thank you very much. Sadly, they've said no every single time. And I think you're just going to have to keep emailing because how are we going to survive the trip if we're not sponsored by Gatorade? I mean, we just need two bottles a day. That's it. Two bottles of Gatorade. Each. We appreciate your efforts, truly we do. But feel free to keep trying if you want to. There's lots of butterflies around here. And bugs of, of all kinds. Yeah, there's lots of bugs. This stops them. We literally have vultures circling us. It's not a good sign. It looks really cool though. Oh my God, that's got worse. Well, it's not gonna get better, is it? Because <laughs> we've done absolutely <laughs> nothing to solve it. <laughs> I'm just squeezing little bits of it. Yeah, that doesn't look great, does it? A heart attack. Did you order the heart attack? No, I thought maybe that should be towards the end of the trip. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, you know, the vegetarian option had lettuce, tomato. It basically just had the accompaniments to all the other sandwiches. That's what, that's what I'm used to. <laughs> <laughs> Plates, napkins, and salt. Oh, and you're amazing. Oh, wow. Thank you so you're much, welcome. man. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. I hope you can carry that. Where are we? Bunnell. Bunnell. Home of the half pounder. So I think we've covered some ground this morning. We're about halfway already, which is really good. Beautiful road, as you saw, plus a tiny bit of slightly more main road, but there's not many cars on it. So you, you're fast, you cover ground, and usually on the main roads, there's a lot more food. So uh, we've managed to find this place. Deli, dairy, produce. And the sandwiches of this beef. Ow, nipple's gonna go hard in eight seconds now. I actually had some vegetables last night. Like, there was some broccoli, some peppers, so that was the first time we were able to get some proper food. I can send you a picture of where we just stopped, which is delightful, but one of the options on the menu is called the heart attack. You know everyone comments on the amount of bad food that we eat? Yes. Well, I kind of eat like this at home anyway. Do you? I don't. Is that bad? Here's another Coke for you. <laughs> You could buy a massive bag of frog's legs. What? You could buy a massive bag of frog's legs in there. 30k to go. 
30k on this road, which is not Soro. It's actually quite nice. We've been uh, chatting off camera and we think we are do a rest day because we've been going quite a few days. We're both feeling a little bit tired and we want to explore some options for wheelchair carrying, which might be faster than our current solution. Always nice to have a day where you can get things sorted, check over the bikes, make sure everything's good, and then push on with a peace of mind and refreshed perspective. 29K on this road. Hey, talking to the camera killed some time. So we've started to encounter an unforeseen problem, which is fairly specific to hand bike users. At the side of the road here, we have sort of a hard shoulder that we've been riding in. It's not a bike lane, but it's pretty smooth. There isn't that much stuff in it. But when there is something in it, like a piece of roadkill, Justin has to go around, otherwise he's gonna get sprayed in the face with whatever he ends up going through. That's pretty disgusting, sorry. But of course, that means going out into the road, so we have to be checking, making sure nothing's coming. If something is, we basically have to stop completely. Luckily, there isn't too many obstacles, but not ideal. Just something we're gonna have to deal with. Sorry, I had some stuff in my eye. I drank most of it, sorry. Is there anything else left? Uh, nope. Well, it's lucky we're in such a densely populated area, isn't it? <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to our brilliant sponsor, Komoot. If you want to check out the rides that we've been doing, there's a link underneath every single day's video where you can see exactly where we've been. <laughs> Just put it out in front of us, cheers. Yeah. It's got a wheelchair sign as well. Yeah. Thank you. Got you a vanilla coke because I know you love vanilla coke. Did you actually not have to take that? Yeah. <laughs> Second room we put us in. First one only had one bed. Now you check your peep in. You don't even know if this room's clean. Just because you see the bed made up don't mean it's ready. I love trying to book accessible accommodation. This is part of the challenge. Yeah. Every time we get somewhere, we go in and it's the wrong room. What happens when it's the wrong room? We have to change it. And I can't wash properly. It's a bit of an issue. The only downside is the other one only had one bed. We could have kept the trip interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you. This place smells funny. And we're probably adding to the smell, to be honest. Day five complete, and I drank nothing. That's bad. Serious conversation. Where do you think you're going to be on the third? of December. I know you can't do that now in your head. <laughs> <laughs> There's just little bits of blood all over the toilet, all over the bath. Like your towel and skin marks on it. <laughs> Apparently not from you. <laughs> not from me. <laughs> Very rarely in my life have I had a shower and felt less clean afterwards. Yeah, and we were so excited when we came into this place. The town is beautiful. This is outside of the town. We cycled past the beautiful historic town of Palatka and stayed in this place for reasons we can't even think of anymore. And now we're not going to have a rest day tomorrow. No, we're not staying here longer than one night. The, um, the motel can be summed up by the condition of this chair. So you know how I wanted to be healthy and try and have a bit of pasta? Yeah. It's just a bowl of pizza topping with no pasta in it. What's all the juice? I don't know. It's just a layer of oil on it. <laughs> it's just, just a layer of juice. Do you want some of my pizza, Justin? I may have to have a slice of your pizza. <laughs> oh, I'm really looking forward to our 80 mile day tomorrow. <laughs> I think we should leave this place and never come back. Yeah.